What's happening guys, World War II Kitty Hawk here. I've just got like a little tip here for people who aren't good at um, hunting. Uh, this is an easier way of getting um, the animal that you want. First you bring out your binoculars and study them. And then you can see what, if they're good quality or not. See that one's poor quality? Use your binoculars. You study this one here. See that's got good quality. So you want to hunt those sort of animals. The one that's of good quality. Unfortunately I failed when I was hunting that one but I've got another example here where I ended up managing to lasso an animal of good quality without actually having to shoot it which is good for people who are actually struggling uh, at hunting to not damage their pelt. So what, I, what you do is you study the animal. See these ones are got good quality using the binoculars and that one's of poor quality so you pretty much want to avoid the animal that's on the left and, and, and go for any of one of those three there. Uh, what I do is I just do it from horseback, select my lasso, and then I just try and um, chase the, the animals on the right. And as you can see, I, I selected the one that I'm after. This one's of good quality. Use the lasso on them. Jump off and you don't even need to use a gun get close to the animal and get a clean kill. Now, I'd done this last time, before I knew that you could had to study them, I actually thought I damaged um, the animal with the lasso, but I realized that's because I'd killed a poor quality animal. But because this was like an experiment for me, I had to take, I didn't want to skin it, because I thought maybe if I skin the animal, it might damage the pout. So what I did is I put the animal back onto my horse. I didn't skin him. Because I wanted to make sure I wanted to take him back to the butcher to make sure it was of good, still of good quality, the actual animal. So what I did is I took him back to the butcher, and what I discovered was pretty good. I took him back to the butcher. He it was of good quality. See, the deer is in good condition. So I thought, oh, okay. So uh, it did work. I, the lasso didn't damage the pout. So then I thought, okay, I want to check if the pout is okay. So I skinned the, skinned the animal, and I was hoping that skinning wouldn't damage it because of what happened with the last time I lassoed an animal. So what I do is I take it back to the guy, and as you can see, um, this is a very good uh, method of actually hunting. It's a lot faster. Once you get good at it, it's a lot faster than actually uh, trying to track the animal on foot and when I take it back to the butcher guy uh, there's the meat from the animal and also see the pout from the deer is in good condition displaying minor damage can be sold so anyways guys it's a way of doing it if you're not very good at shooting the animal or you want to save a bit of time so anyways till the next video guys World War II Kitty Hawk signing out cheers